Hello YouTubers, my name is Reality, and today we'll be learning how to set up a LightSail account, and more specifically, how to set up a LAMP server. Let's begin. This is episode one to our brand new series on how to set up a LAMP server using LightSail and then how to create a website on that lab server. In this episode, I will be showing you how to set up a LightSail account. First, we'll need to go to AWS and create an Amazon Web Server account. To set up an Amazon Web Server account, you'll need to go through this five-step process. It will ask you for some generic information, and it will also ask you for a payment method. Once you have completed that, we can now move on to LightSail. To move to LightSail, we need to search LightSail in the AWS search bar and then click on LightSail. Once LightSail has loaded, it will bring up this dashboard. From here, we can create our own instance. You will see that I've already got three instances, but you will probably have none. So click New Instance. From here, we can change a few things. We can customize the location at which this LAMP server will be running. Make sure to choose one that is local to you. We can also scroll down and make sure to choose Linux as that will be the operating system we'll use. And then choose LAMP. We'll specifically be using Bitnami to handle our LAMP. From here we can scroll down and customize a couple more things. We can add a launch script and we can also change our SSH pair. In this case, we will not be doing that. Here is where I set up the instance to create backups. Here we're going to choose a subscription plan. Make sure to choose the basic one as we get our first three months free. And then after that, it's only $3.50 Canadian. From here, we can change the identity of our instance. I just added dash test after, and we can also change the tags. Once you've done all that, we can hit create instance. This can usually take up to five minutes sometimes around two minutes. Uh, just in that meantime, go make some coffee and come right back. Once you see the instance not grayed out and it says running instead of pending, we can click on the instance. This will bring us to the instance page. From here, you'll see that we have an IP address, but this is not static. That means that every time you shut down the instance, it will change its IP address. So what we need to do is make a static IP address. To do this, we go into network and we hit create static IP. Creating the static IP, we need to make sure the location matches our instance location. As you can see, mine is Montreal for both. You can name the static IP whatever you'd like. I just put dash test after and then hit create. Once again, this may take a couple of minutes to formalize. Once it has, you can then input the static IP into the browser and it will pull up the web page. You should get this congratulations page from Bitnami. It will also give you a couple of links that you can use to get started. We will be adding NetBeams and phpMyAdmin in this tutorial series, so look out for those videos. The last thing I want to do is show you where this congratulations page is located in our LAMP server. To do this, we go back to LightSail, we click on our instance, and then we hit connect using SSH. This will pull up our terminal. If we use the command ls, we'll see what's in our directory. We can see that there's a file named htdocs. Then we use cd to change directory into htdocs. We use ls again and we'll see that we have an index.html file. If we use nano, we can actually edit that file. When in the file, I just decided to add hello world into the footer. I hit control X to exit out of nano, hit yes to save and hit enter. And that leads me out of nano. Once that's happened, I then type exit to log out of the SSH client. And then I go and check the website. As you can tell, it says hello world. 
So this was episode one to this tutorial series, setting up LightSail and setting up a LAMP server. In the next video, we will be learning how to set up the IDE NetBeans to directly add and edit PHP files for our website. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. If you want to see the rest of the series, make sure to hit subscribe as I'll be uploading a video every week. And then until next time, thank you so much for watching.